Hi there. This is Taga Bree reporting for Spirit News. Al-Aqsa Islamic Academy held the first of two mural paint days this past Saturday. Kids and adults from the community gathered to paint and sculpt items to be installed in a new mural titled Windows to Peace. Mayor Kenny, who has recently drawn national attention for his comments regarding the shooting of Officer Jesse Barnett, was also in attendance. The mayor addressed the media on the irony of the situation. First off, we're scheduled. It's been scheduled for quite some time. So the time and we're not, uh, based on the, the uh, almost tragic and terrible events of this week, we were here. It's a positive project for the community. This, this was, came about as a result of the, the desecration of this mosque um, a, while, a little while ago. And we thought it was important for us to come down and show our residents that uh, we, uh, we appreciate their residency. We have to we'll protect them and we want to include them in our community. And, uh, we're all, we're all, um, all God's children. And I will tell you that within a short walking distance from here, you'll probably see the tower. There's <clears throat> a church called, a Catholic church called St. Michael's. Uh, in 1844, over two months of anti-Catholic rioting in Philadelphia, uh, St. Michael's, St. Augustine, and St. Philip Mary's were destroyed uh, by people who believed at the time that, the, as they said, the bloody hand of the Pope was going to take over America. And they were to push the Catholics out because the Irish were coming here because they were refugees and they were starving to death. And they came here because it was the only place they had to come, the only place we take them. Uh, and those three churches were burned to the ground with the same type of attitude and maliciousness and evil that is permeating this country today in this national conversation. Mayor Kenny was asked whether he wanted to back down from his previous comments. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that act of that terrible man in almost assassinating our police officer was an individual act of criminality. It was not an act of religion. No religion promotes that. And that is that he he clearly did not understand his religion. That's not what our religion says. If a deranged Christian blows up a Planned Parenthood office, that doesn't mean that every Christian wants to blow up a Planned Parenthood office. It's not the tenets of Christianity. It's not the tenets of Islam. It's, it's not a they're not violent religions. There's violent people in the world, uh, sad to say, and too many violent people, and too many people with guns. But that has nothing to do with religious beliefs. We love you. We're, we, we love that you're here. We, rep we respect your culture, your beliefs, your religion, and we all have space for us to all live together. I mean, these are good, these are good people. These are good, law-abiding, religious people who work every day, who pay taxes, and who deserve to live in peace and not be discriminated. Was, uh, the only message I'm sending right now is that, is that these are our citizens and that we respect them and we want them as part of our community. And that's what we've been doing. I've been coming here since 9-11. We came here right after 9-11 when people were being you know, physically threatened and beaten. Um, and we came with the police commissioner and, uh, and some other officials. And we assured people then, and we're assured people now, that we're going to have their backs. They're good citizens, they're good law-abiding, tax-paying people. As free as this country is, as democratic as this country is, you're, you're free to be ignorant, rude, and hateful. Sad to say, but that's, that's part of what we have to deal with. And we're going to celebrate each other and, um, and go forward together. And those ignorant, stupid people can stay behind. The Spirit also spoke to Abdal Ibrahim. She's the outreach director and community liaison for Al-Aqsa Islamic Academy. Well, we like to really make it multifaceted, although it's just, people think it's just mural painting and there's uh, tile making, but we're going to also have an educational component. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have um, people come in and they can um, draw what they'd like to have on their tiles. Mm -hmm. And um, there's going to be a poetry segment. For, the, for them to kind of um, bring out words that could, you know, go through the exercise of uh, the name of the project, which is Windows to Peace. Why do you think art is an important element in bringing like, communities like this together? I think it's one of the most effective ways to bring people together because mm -hmm. a lot of times people, um, they don't want to be lectured to or they don't want to be told that, you know, this person is good or how can you show that a person is good or how could you know really how um, other people live or mm -hmm. how, what they feel or how they are unless you work with them. And so it's a way to just kind of um, show your creativity and work with each other without the pressure of having to... Uh, formally, you know, discuss topics of religion or politics. It's just a, a, an easy way for people to get acquainted with each other and socialize while art making. Jane Golden, executive director of the City of Philadelphia Mural Arts Program, had this to say. They can make their mark on this building in a way that is lasting. This mural doesn't belong to us. 
at all, or the artists who create it, mm-hmm. because once it goes out, it belongs to this community, and it should live on as a landmark and as a tremendous source of pride and inspiration. This has been Tagabari reporting for Spirit News. Thanks for listening.